Good morning folks, Joel Self, Outdoor Instructor here and I'm just out in the beautiful Wiltshire countryside for a nice morning walk. Whilst I was out walking I did happen to spot some nettles. So given we did a plant identification challenge yesterday and I got asked a really good question by primary school teacher Sharon Gould about how to identify the different nettles that we were talking about, I thought I'd do a video on it for you all. So yesterday in the plant identification challenge there was a white dead nettle. Now a lot of people will have mistaken the photograph for a common nettle or stingy nettle as many of us will call them but there's a big difference between these two plants. This one will sting you, this one will not. So it'd be great if we can learn a couple of ways we can go about identifying the difference. First off there is one major difference already going on between these two plants. This one's got flower, this one does not. Now the stingy nettle will get flowers on it but they come between May and September so they're only really around for the summer. And then the white dead nettle is actually going to have flowers on it all the way from March through to December. So this one's probably been in flower for about a month now, maybe a little bit more. And both of these plants are edible but the white dead nettle will not sting you. So if you're going to go eating these you need to do some extra bits and pieces and unlike the white dead nettle you shouldn't be eating stingy nettles or common nettles when they're in flower whereas you can eat this any time of year that would be fine. Now how can we identify the difference other than this one's got a flower and it's this time of year because if we're talking the middle of the summer they might both have flowers on. Well the flowers on are white dead nettle are these little droopy rather flat topped and slightly fuzzy petaled flowers whereas the common nettle when it grows its flowers it will have really small white beads that make up its flower and so the flowers will look really quite different. I may pop a photograph on the screen if I can find one for you. So that would be a real clear indicator as to which nettle is which and you need to be real sure that you've identified them correctly before you go handling them because if I went and grabbed all of that I would get stung quite a lot and I don't want to be stung thank you very much whereas this one I can pick and I can do things with and I can eat and that would be no problem at all. It is worth noting that if you are going to eat nettles of whatever variety that you do pick them from somewhere that is a bit more out of the way. You don't want to pick them right beside the footpath where maybe the dog has been going to the toilet and you don't want to pick them from right beside the road where they're going to be picking up all the fumes from the traffic. If you can get out on a small footpath in the middle of nowhere and then just off to the side of the path find yourself some nice nettles that are fresh, um, not old slightly dying ones that would not be so good and then you can eat those raw no problem at all and as I mentioned don't go eating stingy nettles once they're in flower. You can eat them before and you can eat them after but not whilst they're in flower. I hope that was helpful for you all and you've got a good idea now as to how you can start identifying the differences between these two but as I mentioned do be sure that you get your identification spot on before you go grabbing hold of these because I don't want you to go out and get yourself stung. But go out, have a look, see if you can spot the different types and I would love to see some photos of you responsibly, maybe with a parent helping you out if you're a younger person. I would love to see a photograph of you if you can get hold of some white dead nettles. Well, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate you taking the time. And just before I go, I wanted to very quickly mention something that's been in the description of all of these videos. I don't know if any of you have read it yet. But during this time that we're in COVID-19 lockdown, I'm only managing to get out of the house to do my own personal exercise once a day. And that means that I'm not getting any work done in terms of taking people climbing or shooting or doing archery. None of those normal activities that I would instruct are taking place. And that means that I've got no income coming in, but I still have not only my personal expenses going out, but also some of my ongoing business expenses that I just can't get around. So if you are liking these videos and you would like to support 
me putting these videos out during this lockdown phase when I can't earn an income, then I would really appreciate it if you could donate, even if it's just one pound, on my website. You can do that by following the link that's in the description under this video, and I can't tell you how much it means to me to see those donations. Some people have managed to donate just a pound, some people a little bit more, and it's really such a big help. Every little helps me out, and I can't thank you all enough for it. So if you feel you can do that, then I appreciate it. If you don't, then there's no problem with that at all. Just enjoy those videos, and maybe if you get the opportunity to do something nice for somebody else whilst they're in lockdown, then you can help someone out in a fun and kind way. I've been Joel Self Outdoor Instructor. Thank you very much for watching the video. Bye-bye.